Absolutely. Uh, well, mine is, again, something I talk about pretty regularly on the show is st- streaming video games. Um, I, I Of course, I, I've been experimenting for months with uh, uh, Microsoft's xCloud, which is supposed to be coming to the I- I- iOS and, and, and uh, PCs themselves coming up here in the spring. Uh, Google Stadia and uh, NVIDIA GeForce Now. Uh, which allows me to use a lot of my Steam games in the cloud and on my phone. Um, Stadia and NVIDIA both un, uh, un rolled out um, at least their betas of the web-based iOS version, so I can play them all on my little iPhone 8 here. Little, big, it's a plus. Um, and, uh, and and even Luna, Amazon's Luna, which, I don't know, it exists. Uh, <laughs> if you like Ubisoft games, I guess. Um, uh, experiment with that a little bit. It's it, it's really solid now, and I think part of that has been um, something that's going to help them is going to be uh, this cyberpunk situation that's happened. <laughs> um, if you don't know, I, again, it's the new. It's been the news the last I don't know four days at least here. Um, but the cyberpunk game that was supposed to be like the game of the year just completely crashed and burned on most console systems. PC seems to be all right, but to have something as good as that new Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, if you can get your hands on it, you got to have a pretty hefty machine. And then, uh, but, uh, you know, one podcast I listened to has been playing their their Cyberpunk in full quality on their MacBook Air, I think, um, in, uh, through Google Stadia in a browser. And now, again, what? that's accessible on your tablet, that's accessible on your phone. You know, it's really nice. I played like three hours of this game called Control. Um, I, when I talked about uh, testing out Amazon Luna a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, um, I played for like three hours on my iPad. <laughs> you know, you just hook up a controller and you're good to go. Um, and, and again, the Xbox PlayStation controllers are all Bluetooth compatible with iOS since uh, last year's update, I think it was. Um, so I, I think, especially as we're having these shortages, um, I, I think a lot of people that don't want to drop 500 bucks on the newest thing everybody has a screen you're going to tell me i can log into a browser bandwidth obviously is going to be a problem for a lot of people but uh for those that i mean that have you know comcast is 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 you know pushing you for you know 100 200 gigabytes whatever uh you know i think a lot of people are going to have access to do something like this especially in the cities What's that going to do to the business model for these, you know, these companies with all the consoles? Do we need consoles? Well, Microsoft is, Um, that's the point. Microsoft itself is pushing xCloud. It runs on Azure. So mm -hmm. you buy a game or you subscribe to their Game Pass and and it's like how you get an app on your iPhone and it's on, you know, iPad, Apple TV, Mac across the board. If it's the right app, it's going to work the same way for the games. You know, Mm -hmm. they, 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 they introduced new concepts, smart delivery. Uh, it's going to sound familiar. Hey, we'll just give you the version for your old Xbox 360, or when you have your new one, you'll get all the the bits for that new 4K version. Or you stream the Android version. You know, they, they call it an Android version since uh, uh, it already streams now on Android only, uh, still in an open beta. But uh, uh, it's it's you know eventually it's going to be you know hey this looks better coming off of their big server than it is you know you know, good enough for me versus like getting the new one or the load times are better, which I know Chilla, that's one thing you've been eyeballing on the Xbox is those load times. And I've been noticing the load time crunch on the games I've been playing on the Xbox <laughs> versus like loading up the same games on Stadia, like destiny. Right. So um, it's, uh, it, it, I think that's going to be the thing. I, I think, I think it, you know, that's a partial prediction, but I think it's going to, it's going to pick up steam here in the next year. Um, and in Microsoft seems ready for it and everybody else is kind of getting their position ready for it. So, so. yeah, I mean, this is, this feels like something that's been a long time, a long time coming, even as someone who has like, uh, always worked in technology. Um, but I'm not, I'm not a huge gamer. I tried out Amazon Luna because mm-hmm. I got like the beta invite and thought I'd like give it a shot. And so I used it for a week and canceled it. Yeah. And, uh, but the the console hardware has, itself has always been a loss leader. In in a lot of cases, it costs them an exceptional amount of money for every one of those that actually leaves the shelf. They don't make money on the console itself. They make the money on the games. Mm-hmm. Um, 
so if you are a game developer, this is fine. Even if you're Microsoft, this is fine because as long as you keep pushing the platform, as long as you are following the trend and the trend for years has been, what if we didn't have to like come out with a new box every Christmas? What mm -hmm. if we could have more control over the ecosystem? And so we, with everything that's like tangentially related to this stuff with like app store development and remote deployment stuff, it all comes together to mean that you can now, you can release a game faster you can iterate on a game faster, which means you can also put out a half-baked game faster, unfortunately. Um, yeah. It also means if you release that uh, half-baked game, all of your users are connected, you can fix it iteratively as well. Um, so like devil's in the details, but uh, the writing is on the wall to just throw two phrases right next to each other. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a nice quote salad you just did there um You're welcome. yeah <laughs> yeah no absolutely I, and i think that's going to lower the um lower the access i mean i the conversations i've had over the last couple of uh uh, uh days has been like oh like among us we're like oh wait we can all play among us and then it's like the, the question then became what platform are you on versus right. Um, yeah. I saw Uno was on sale on Stadia, and somebody has been like, "Hey, we should get Uno." I'm watching this feed; these wrestlers are having a lot of fun with it. I'm like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe we will." But it's been like, you know, ten, fifteen bucks for Uno, seriously. Uh, so, um, and it was like, "Oh no, I'm on Switch, I'm on PlayStation." And it was like, "Well, if I," it was like, "Well, I can get on PC." And I'm like, "Well, is it going to work with Steam if I have it on the other platform over here on Stadia?" You're like that becomes a thing, too. So, and those walls seem to be breaking down because more and more games seem to be cross-platform. So, um, but, uh, you know, I, I think, I think, uh, yeah, all those are breaking down and there's just providers at this point or will be eventually. Right. So, uh, um, and then you also run up against like to cross reference more things you run up against the Apple problem where you have games that are developed for and by on that platform and they work really, really well. And then when you try to make them cross platform, it doesn't work as well, but you need to make a cross platform to appeal to all of your users so you can all play with each other. Well, and then also you've broken down the one big story of the year with Fortnite um, being taken off because they have uh, uh, violated and wanted to um, kind of throw it in the face of Apple, their rules. Uh, you can play Fortnite now on your NVIDIA uh, GeForce Now. Um, so it is back on iOS. Uh, and uh, as long as you have unlimited bandwidth, you can play it anywhere. By the way, the streaming works really well. It actually works. Okay, thir again, I have a similar um, uh, uh, issue with uh, uh, Cindy. I've, I've, I've put out on the show. I my I put my modem in the basement since that's where we needed it before, and now I don't need it in there anymore. So I go up on the second floor, and I can't play the streaming games as well because it's too far away. But if I click it over to LTE, it plays just fine. Hmm. And I don't have full bars of LTE in my house. I have like you know I'm down a bar or two, and it I I the games are absolutely playable. So. So, um, you know, when we're mobile and stuff, it was it was really cool to like have the console with you, you know. So, but yeah, that's awesome. I mean, your then your only challenge is any data cap things you've got. On your, oh, absolutely. Or, yeah. But then, hey, then they'll sell you, they'll, they'll they'll take care of that. They'll sell you that data cap. And that's the other thing. If you have Comcast, I know they're going to up the data caps, and I think this takes a pretty good chunk. And as you get like, if you want to do 4K Stadia. On your on your uh, Chromecast Ultra, like that's going to be even more data, right? But we're going to be doing video the same way too, eventually. So the the the, the more things change, the more they stay the same, right? <laughs> Isn't this the conversation we had when everything went HD, HD like ten years ago? Mm -hmm. Oh man, my AT and T is never going to. I want to watch like two movies and hit my data cap. <laughs> 